Hello and welcome. Last time we added a, a team. This is our new team now. It looks interesting. In this session what we are going to do is uh, tidy up a little bit. As you can see it is there are things all over the place and um, there's quite a long list of articles here. So let us tidy up a little. In the front page we want to see only one or two articles so it looks uh, much more uh, tidy. So go to edit view. So if you move mouse around you can see two pencil icon. The top one is edit view. Click on that. So this is the front page view. So we want to reduce the number of articles showing up. Instead of uh, 20 we just uh, say maybe 3. 3 should do for the time being. Apply. Save it. We edited our, our view to show only three articles. There they are. This is one, two, and three. Then the pagination. I think it is still too long. Maybe we want to make it just one. Let's have a look. Edit view. Go back and change this to one. And apply. Save. Go back to our site and have a look. So there's only one one article view in the front page. It looks much uh, tidier for our purpose at the moment. For a new team, we need to find out where the regions are. So to do that, we go to Appearance. This is our new team. Go to Block Layout page. And you can see, this, this is the block layout. We can see the demonstrate block regions. So for our new team, this is the block region. The problem is all teams have their own block region. So when you change between teams, they don't necessarily match up because they are all different. So I found a, an easy way to look where the block regions are. So what you have to do is say, say copy this, highlight and copy, control C to copy, put it on a notepad, control V. So this is, this is how you end up. So these are the different regions. So what I do is I just add uh, some bit more markings to, to know that this is our regions. Just marking like that. I do on all of them. So we end up something like that. So we are going to create blocks with this region and put it in the right places. Okay, let's go back to exit the region. Go back to structure, block layout and custom block library. Click on that and uh, create uh, add custom block. I already uh, added custom block for all those. Maybe I can show you how I can just delete one, delete and I will show you how it is done once more. So add custom block then the first one is the header and save so that header is added. Like that I added all of them. So I added um, blocks for all of this. So that is what uh, you, s you see here. So when you are finished uh, adding these custom blocks like this, go back to block layout and you will see those custom blocks here all disabled because we didn't put it anywhere. We just created these custom blocks. So what you do is move this to the appropriate places. So you look here, see this content top. You just choose content top. There we are. It moved to the content top. See? There. So like that you move all of them in the right places. Content. Just go to content. First bottom. First bottom. First sidebar. First sidebar. Like that you move all of them. And then second sidebar. This, this is the last one. Second sidebar. And the last is third bottom. Third bottom save blocks then go back this to the side and refresh the page you will see all these um, see this is a header these are the different um, block regions highlight highlight 2 highlight 3 content top second sidebar first bottom second bottom third bottom like that now you see all these different uh, block region you can start moving things around okay say for example powered by Drupal. That should be at the bottom. It's like footer. So move that to footer region. So where is that? 
the powered by Drupal. It is at the moment it is in the header region. Move to footer. So it goes to the powered by Drupal now moves to footer. Save block and go and have a look. If I if I refresh this page, the powered by Drupal should go to the footer region. So let us refresh the page. Refresh. And now it is moved over here. See that? And uh, my account and logout. This is what is called the user menu. My account and logout. So where can we put that? We can put that, say, somewhere. We can put that on the first sidebar if you like. Go back to the site and uh, see the user account menu. So it go to the side first sidebar and save and go and have a look. Refresh the page. Now it is moved to here on the first sidebar. And what is this one? I think this is the footer menu. So that is the footer menu, I think. So there we are, footer menu. We put that into the footer. So that is so that is gone. That is gone to here contact. You can move anyway, anywhere you want. If you want to put over here or on the right side or something like that, you can do that. Now what else is there? This is the what's called branding. If you do, if you don't want that, just to go here. See, this is a site branding. If you click on none, it will it will it won't be putting into any block region. So click on none and save it. Go and have a look. So when I refresh it, this should disappear. Refresh the page. Now that is disappeared. Okay. But of course we want our, our branding back. So go back and see where is that. This is the site branding. At the moment it is under disabled. So go back and put it on the header and save. And when we refresh it, that should come back. Oh, there we are. If I want to move this branding up, I go to header. Where is this? This is the header block. And site branding goes on top of this one. There, like that. Just move like that. Drag and drop. In fact, you can drag and drop anywhere you like and save. And refresh the page, it should go up. There we go. It's now gone. So that is how you identify the, the region and move things around the region. Okay. In this session, we learned about how to identify the content region and how to add uh, move things between region. In the next session, we'll do a bit more of this moving of uh, content into different region. So we get a better understanding how to use this theme for our liking. Okay. Thank you for watching.